Hello guys, happy Sunday. Today we're trying the Whopper versus the Impossible Whopper. We love hamburgers and we want to see if it's true. Does it taste any different or not? I don't know. Okay. And we ordered them without onions. Onions are gross. Yeah, I don't like onions. I mean, I like Shrek, but not onions. Okay, so a classic Whopper. Yeah. Tomatoes, lettuce, burger. The classic, right? Who doesn't like Whoppers? I don't like tomatoes. Oh, I'm sorry, but I didn't ask no tomatoes. <laughs> I didn't know. I told oh, you. yeah, you did tell me last time. Exactly. <laughs> I forgot. Rat. Oh, and it has a pickle. Ew. You don't like pickles either? No. Oh my. I'm not Charlene. Hey, the the Impossible Burger doesn't look that different. The color in the patty is a tad bit darker. Don't you think? Yeah, it has a gross smell too. Yeah, it smells different. As soon as we put, we got our order through the drive-thru and we received our bag, we can smell that it wasn't, we smelled something completely different then. Wait, you're not trying the Whopper first. No, I don't want that. No, we have to try both of them. We'll try the Whopper first and then we'll try the, oh, the Whopper has a lot of mayonnaise too. It really does. Okay, ready? Try the Whopper first and then we'll do the... Oh, it's Halloween! Mm. <laughs> wow. It has too much mayo. Mm. The lunch is so good. Oh, I brought napkins because they didn't give us any napkins. The lunch is so good. Mm. I don't... Why does it taste like these aren't fresh? Mm. Mm, not... It might not be then. Oh my, I spilled mayonnaise in the cup holder. I'm not gonna lie, the lettuce got really soggy because all the mayonnaise. It has a lot of mayo. Let me it's show like you guys. squirting out of my hamburger. What about mayo rats? Look at that. Everywhere. Do you like it? Yeah, it's good. Ah, hamburger. Mm. Okay. Wait, what? I wanted to finish the burger. I don't hate it. It's cold. It doesn't taste fresh. Really don't want to do now this. Now the Impossible Burger. I don't want to try this. Okay, ready? You go first, please. I'm scared. <laughs> I am too! You don't remember me. Actually, this tastes better. Wait, what? Mm hmm It's good. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Is there a tomato in that? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, let me get, let me, ew, ew. It has a, it has a different texture, like it's more tough. I'm, I'm scared. But, ew, there's pickles. It tastes smoky. Dude, I, I'll have your pickles, lady. I'm gonna do this, man. Mm. I love this better, though. That's your opinion, though. Okay, you try it. <laughs> Um, I don't think you're gonna hate it. I would still prefer my buns warm, not yeah. cold. I don't like cold bread. Uh. It's good. Oh, it's, it's okay. <laughs> it's also not that bad though. Like the more you chew it, you no, it? like it has a different texture. It has a different texture from the mm -hmm. patty. It does. Yeah. But the flavor, the flavor isn't bad. Like the, ah. wh the Whopper meat, it's softer. I don't like the flavor. You don't like it? I don't like it. I don't hate it. Maybe it's because you like... I'm unhealthy, Ron. That's not healthy. I just said that. repeating it. I'm just gonna chew this slowly so I don't have to do it. I think you don't like the texture because it's tougher. No, it's not really that. Oh, I love tomato. Mmm. Mmm. That's a sweet tomato. Every time 
My husband hates pickles. He hates them. Sure, full of other something. But every time we go out for her burgers, I make him get extra pickles so I can have his pickles. <laughs> oh, weird. Oh, good. They did put too much mayo though. They did. Honestly. <clears throat> You didn't like the texture? It's kind of everything, honestly. Okay, so what are your thoughts? I was just about to ask. A picky review. eater. I was trying to ask about the review. Okay. Oh, my genuine opinion, it's weird. It has a weird texture. Yeah, yeah, like you were saying, it's like more like tougher. It's really, yeah, it is tough. The, the smell is exactly like how it tastes. It has the texture of like a really overcooked patty. It does. I don't know if that's on purpose or mm -hmm. But I like it. That if you go, if you don't care for the texture of it, because it's not soggy, it's just tougher, I think you would like it. The flavors are there though. Mm -hmm. Like the meat flavor is there. I don't know how, but it's there. Mm. I would put it in my jam. Is the bun the same? Yeah. Mm. Okay. The bun is the same. The only difference is the patty. Yeah. Okay. Well. Give me the weirdest story you have. The most interesting story about me in high school? Or mean just school in general. Any school. So when I was in um, elementary school, my favorite thing to do was the hula hoops, the jump rope, and the wall ball. That's it. I'm but there was a boy that oh, okay. he always hogged it. He would always, always hog wall ball. And it was so annoying because he wouldn't let anybody else play against him. <laughs> it was so mean. Oh, I have a story that includes wall ball. So, I, I, okay. Uh, at my school. Okay, I t there, I have like a weird flavor in my mouth. Aftertaste. Mm. At my school, uh, for fi the fifth and sixth graders, um, do PE in the morning. I think it's just the teachers who agree to it. But uh, so we do this thing on like Mondays and Fridays, where like rotations, where like every kid for like uh, one like a couple kids from like every class, or like just most of the classes or any class in general, to be honest, uh, have like different teams and we do different activities for PE. Basically, my team, we were doing wall ball. And towards the end of our PE, I ended up a server, somehow. <clears throat> um, so when I tried hitting the ball to throw at the wall, oh God, I rhymed. I kept hitting the air because the <laughs> ball was it would roll down quicker before I could hit it. That happened twice. I looked like I looked so dumb, but I ended up I was laughing, so I didn't care. And then it ended. Mm. So we went across. I don't like the flavor in my mouth. It's making me nauseous. Okay, scariest story in school. Well, when I was in middle school, this girl used to bully me, Ooh. make fun of me. And one day I was just so over it because she made my, like my peep, my friends go against me and then they started bullying me too. And so one day I was so over it. I was done. I was completely done. They would make fun of me. Nobody would talk to me in PE. And like in middle school, you like you change it to your PE clothes and you're changing in front of everybody and they would tease me and it got so bad to where I had to go change in the bathroom and the day like I got I was so over it I was having a bad day I was on my period I had really bad cramps I did not tolerate them bugging me and making fun of me so I stood up to myself and I told her I was gonna beat her up <laughs> and she didn't leave me alone and they went to go snitch on me and I had to go to the office <laughs> And I was just trying to explain to them, like, no, like, I was just defending myself because they kept doing this, like, over and over again, and I had no friends anymore, and nobody would talk to me, and they would make fun of me. 
in front of my body they would be like oh you're fat you have big thighs blah blah blah, blah. that's so rude obviously the school was against you anyway yeah the school was always against you they're so mean <clears throat> but like this whole time like they were bullying me and i was just like keeping it to myself like right because i didn't want to like be a snitch or whatever but the one time i defend myself and i tell him you need to leave me alone like stop it leave me alone stop telling people to stop being friends with me stop making fun of me you're hurting my feelings or i'm gonna kick your butt i want to go snitch on me <laughs> what did mom say <laughs> nothing because they didn't call her because it was like the first time they called me in the office oh i thought you actually had to come wait did you end up telling mom when you got home no <laughs> well mom now now you know that it's she, oh, she threatened to beat somebody up because they were being mean to me. <laughs> like, Don't be mean to people. That hurts people's feelings. Okay. When Why I, is that funny? <laughs> <laughs> when I heard you say bully, I thought you were actually going to like physically hurt them. No, I wanted to so bad. But there was like six girls against me. <laughs> like put soap in the shower or something. No, they're so On the rude. floor. They like all gained up on me and the sad part is like the other girls were supposedly my friends like to start off with they would be like they, we would we would be like we were friends like we would have lunch together we would walk to our classes together but it took one mean girl for them to all like gang up on me my question is where did this happen in in sixth grade okay what happened like um for the rest of middle school um a couple of the girls moved Especially the one, the one that like was the leader, she ended up moving to a different school. So then when that happened, the other girls were fine. Like they didn't bother me no more. Okay. That was a good one. I like that one. That's so mean. That's why I don't like it when people are mean. Like just don't be mean. Like you don't know what harm you're doing to people. Like their feelings or what they're going through at home. And like you don't understand. Like they could hurt somebody's feelings so bad. And then I wish you actually beat them up. I wish so too. <laughs> I wanted to so bad, but there was like six of them. Or seven of them, yeah. <clears throat> so mean. So, you know, if somebody's bullying you, ignore them. Stand up for yourself. Don't let them happen. And if your parents don't understand, try. Try to explain it to them. Like, mom, dad, this is what's happening. Like, I need help. Like, I can't just, you can't just let these people like step all over you. That is not okay. That is not. Especially if people are claiming to be your friend and then they're saying mean things to you. That's not nice. Those are not your real friends. You know what? I thought you were also going to like go against them like make everyone else against them or something. No, because they were telling everybody else like mean things about me. Nobody wanted to be my friend. And you know the, the thing that sucked is that I went to a different middle school. Like so all my friends from elementary school, they didn't go to that middle school. So I was like... The other one. Yeah, they were to a different middle school. And so I was the only one at that middle school for my friends in elementary school. So going into sixth grade to a brand new school, I didn't know anybody. I didn't have any friends. It was scary. And then when people are being mean to you, like, it's even worse. You know, that's going to suck. But um, when I go to middle school, I don't, I'm pretty sure I'm going to this specific school. Thing is... My friend said she might go to it. Oh, that's good. But she said she might also go to a different one, so I don't know how it's going to turn out. I don't think anyone else knows where they're going from middle school either, so... Mm. It's weird. But, like, you make friends fast. Like, when I was in middle school, I was quiet and shy. Like, I didn't feel like I had a voice until, like, I finally stood up for myself, and I'm like, why, why am I letting these people be mean to me? Like, no. You know what I mean? And you're very friendly. Like, you make friends really fast. Because we go to the park or we go to the beach and stuff, and you make friends. Like, I wasn't like that growing up. I was very antisocial. I didn't know how to make friends. So you'll make friends fast. You know what? Like, during, like, like basically during elementary school, I would not... I don't care what anyone thinks because their opinion is completely weak. Yeah. But I don't know how that's going to turn out eventually. It might be the same. I might change. I don't know. The good thing is, too, like, not that bullies are good in general, but the girls that were bullying me, they were in the same grade level as I was. Like, they weren't older than me. Mm -hmm. So that's good. 
because what about if they were older then? I mean, because like they were your friends. But yeah, supposedly. So it'd be like it's easier to make friends in your own grade yeah. than it is people like younger or older. Mm-hmm. Because genuinely, you'd be with the people more in your grade than any other grade. Yeah. Yeah. So that was a good thing. So yeah, that's what happened to me in middle school. That's sad, right? Do you have any other bully stories from any other grade? No, that was pretty much it. Hmm. I was I was literally hoping for you to say like you got bullied again in high school and then you, you did end up beating someone up. No. By the time I went to high school, it was I had my friend group from middle school. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Except like when you go to high school, like everybody's changing, you know, like everybody wants to hang out with the cool kids and everybody starts having like different cliques of friends <clears throat> that kind of happened when i went to fifth grade there's one kid that he he doesn't exactly hang out with us well like with the people i hang out with but he sort of does oh shoot <laughs> god dang it he she hit- dropped her burger <laughs> It will have one clean up the disgusting tomato. You can eat it. Ew, no. You can eat that. You clean it with a napkin. You can eat that right off the floor. Ew. <laughs> I brought little plates because I knew it was going to get messy and then she still dropped it on the floor. <laughs> oh, it's going to smell like mayo. Here, what about if you put sanitizer on it? <laughs> it's going to smell like mayo. Or that'd be funny. Ew, that'd be no. a funny, like, like you have, like, uh, you keep this car for years. And then you yeah, have, that's my plan. And then you have a grandchild in here or something. And oh, wait, what's that smell? Oh, your <laughs> great auntie Jalen <laughs> spilled mayo in here one time. It's like what? they're like, when? And why is it still there? And then you say, and the oh cleaning God, that so part good. Wait. So when I went to fifth grade, there was uh, I already had this like big like no. I hung out with a ton of people, but it was mainly like a couple people that always like no, yeah it was like a cut. It was like a couple people who always hung out with us. Oh, when we went to fifth grade, that changed. You know, one girl she started hanging out with this annoying person. You know, it was, it was actually two girls, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> but <clears throat> it was two of the girls that hung out with the the weird, annoying, popular girl. Mm. Anyways. So I had this one, there was this one kid. Yeah, he basically hung out with us like all the time. But he ended up going with the sixth graders this year. Mm, so he thinks he's too cool now. Honestly, it, it's kind of weird because he's this short little but rat. But that's going to suck because his sixth grade friends are going to go to middle school and then he's just going to be left by himself. <laughs> it's funny. Don't trade your friends for cooler people. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> it's funny because he's a short person. <laughs> he's oh. <a> short- <laughs> Are you short like I am? No, like, not like exactly you, because I'm like your height. Yeah. And I'm 26 and she's 10. <laughs> so I'm little. No. I'm five feet tall. He's like Jaslyn. Oh, so he is little. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's funny seeing him with the, with the kid. With like the bigger kid. <laughs> it is. Oh my gosh. That was it for today, guys. Thank you for joining us on this Sunday. I hope you're having a really good day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope you liked our review about the Impossible Whopper and the Whopper. Go eat those strolls. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye.